Delta, Lambda, Chi. On the outskirts of life. The lady needs a light. I don't seem to remember hearing myself talking to you. Well, it doesn't seem to matter who you talk to, pal. You don't seem to listen to them anyway. Come on. Just one little dance. Look, I don't know who you are or what you want, but I said I don't want to dance. Now, let me amend that. It's not that I don't want to dance. I don't want to dance with you. <laughs> Do you want to dance? Oh, Love yeah. too. If I cut in? Hey, fella, you just don't know how to take no for an answer. No, leave him alone. Sure. I'd love to. Is there any chance you could find a hotel room around here? You can. Will the honeymoon suite do? Oh, that'd be fine. Just fine. I've never experienced anything like this before. I think I love you.
my God. Stop jiggling. I'm just getting to the good part. Jack, mm -hmm. what do you remember about that Cupid in Uncle Lewis's manifest? Uh, the Cupid of Malek. Yes, I remember picking that up in Cairo. That was commissioned by one Salam Malek in 1453 in Italy, in uh, Milan, to be exact. Yet yeah, it was said that Malek was so ugly that no woman could look at him without turning away. That got him pretty upset. So he uh, vowed vengeance on all those who denied him love. He had the Cupid cast in his own image. <laughs> Why don't you try reading something a little more challenging for a change? Something with words. The man arrested for the brutal honeymoon sweet slayings, Gerald Hastings, said he had to kill for Cupid's sake. You don't think there's any... Item uh... number 00729, the Cupid of Malek. It says here that Uncle Lewis sold it to a Frederick Mason, but that was over four years ago. Great M's. Mason. Ah! It seems Mr. Mason didn't like women either. He killed three of them. He was sentenced to death. Well, what do you think? There's an old witch's saying. If it looks like a bat, and it flies like a bat, it's a bat. I can't understand it. I know I saw the statue when we barged in. So it was here. Yep. Ugly little thing, too. I know because I said to myself, it was too tacky even for a motel. <laughs> Could the cops have taken it? I thought you were the cops. Another division. You were saying? Now that I think of it, it was gone already. Of course, there was so much commotion. Thank God for those college guys. College guys? Yeah, from Tustin. They were on the bar having a couple of beers. When I heard the noise, I tried opening the door, but it was double locked. Next thing I know, these guys are knocking the door down. That's it. I remember now. One of them picked up this statue. Do you have any idea who it was? No, not by name. But they all belong to the same fraternity. How do you know? Well, they all wear the same kind of T-shirt, you know, with these funny letters. Can you remember what they were? Nah. Who can read that stuff? It's all Greek to me. Must fancy themselves as lover boys or something, though. Why do you say that? Because. They all have this symbol on the front of their T-shirts, a heart with an arrow going through it. Telling me what you're doing up there, son? Just shooting pictures of birds, officer. For my natural studies class? Well, I always did like natural studies myself. Hi, Eddie. Listen, I can't talk now. I'm late for class. What's the matter? Didn't you get my messages? I thought we could go out again. Eddie, we never went out in the first place. I thought we did. We had a date, remember? It wasn't a date. I helped you with your homework. That was all. I see. You think you're too good for me, huh? No, that's not what I meant. Just, just leave me alone, OK? I'm not one of the guys on the football team. My car's not fancy enough. Is that it? Huh? I don't want to talk about it. Please. Eddie, don't make me have to call for help. 
If I report you this time, you'll be kicked out of school for good. Excuse me, could either of you help us? Sure. What is it? There must be a dozen fraternities around here. Fifteen to be exact, but only about two or three good ones. We were looking for the one that has as its symbol the heart with the arrow going through it. That's Delta Lambda Chi. Are you a member? Yeah. Oh, then you can tell us how to get there. I, I could do better than that. I could show you where it is. I'm going that way myself. So am I. You care for a ride? It's really not that far. No, thanks. I think we'll walk. <laughs> Sorry if we interrupted anything. I'm glad you did. Now, we've got that big party tonight. Can I come? Eddie, this party is not for you. Just because I'm nice enough to let you wear Delta Lemna Kai t-shirts does not mean you're one of us. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I've got a million things to do. And don't forget to clean up the kitchen. What are you doing? Dustin. This is really nice. Ugliest mother in the world. Can't figure out how it helps you out with chicks, though. Is that what we're supposed to do? It's a Cupid, stupid. Oh. Now clean up my room, will you? And leave my stuff alone. I should think they're just gonna hand it over anyway. Because they removed evidence from the scene of a crime. So that's it. We're cops again. That's your big plan? Hey, it worked last time, didn't it? Academia had its advantages. Well, you dropped out of college. Just a school party. The party's not till tonight, folks. It's amazing what some people will lose around here. Is it all like this? No, we haven't had a chance to clean up the rest of the place yet. You are invited to be here tonight. May I help you? Oh, we're looking for a statue. A statue? What kind of statue? Cupid. Oh, well, that would be perfect for us. <laughs> Look, we're here on official business. We have reason to believe that one of your brothers took it from the scene of a crime. Hold on a minute. Oh, we're gonna look around. Talk to some of the guys. Do you have a warrant? ID? Not really. Look, pal, um, we're not cops. Uh, we need to find the Cupid. It's a personal matter. Can't help you. The brothers wouldn't be too thrilled if I let two strangers wander through their rooms. Surely you understand. You understand? Excuse me. Yeah? What can I do for you? Your turn to clean up, huh? Something wrong with that? No, no, I do it all the time. Well, some of the time. We were just wondering if maybe you came across a statue in one of the rooms. A statue? What kind of statue? Cupid. 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 Nope. Can't say I did. I like the big guy myself, but what? I think the second guy's more your type. Brian, I'm engaged. Not tonight.
Even if we do find out who took the statue, how are we going to make him tell us what he did with it? No, they're not going to just tell us. I mean, it's a criminal offense to remove evidence from the scene of a crime. Then we'll just have to search the place. Now, wait a minute. I think there may be a better way of doing it than that. And I think I have just what you need. No, 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 no. What is that? It's just something that I whipped up from an old recipe I had lying around. How old? 14th century Scottish. Look, you want me to tell you where the Cupid is, huh? Well, this is going to do it. It's an old Scottish truth potion. They'll tell you things you wouldn't believe. <laughs> What's in it? I have new two or throw and just a tincture of apothecary's conchist nacorium. What? Yeah. To you guys, sodium pentothal. At least the lights are on. Any luck? No, not yet. Neat slide, Joe, huh? Love God's on campus. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Pop. You make the best drinks in the world. Especially a Jack Marzak special. Well, thank you. Uh, let me ask you something. You strike me as the kind of man who's alert and aware of everything that's going on around him that's of any importance. Uh, have you seen a statue of a Cupid anywhere in any of the rooms in this place? Cupid? You, you know, where... Oh, oh ugly mother. That high. You've seen it. I'm more than seen it. Got it. Where you put it? I lie to you. Somebody must have taken it. But who? Any Monroe. Who? Hmm. Guy who cleans up. Pretty strange guy. Yeah, him. Came by my room and I caught him holding it. Looking at it pretty strange. I bet he's got it. I bet that guy took it. When I get a hold of that guy. Too bad you've got to stay and look after your guests. I um, do? Why don't you let us try to find out where he is for you? Where did you say you lived again? Hayes Hall, in the basement. What's that? It's a Cupid. Well, it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Ugly or not, it's still a symbol of love. Excuse me, miss. Got a light? No. Wait a minute, maybe I do. It's all right.
you to go for a ride. Where to? Oh, I don't know. Up about Mason Creek sounds nice. Perfect spot. Out of the way. Lots of beautiful flowers. Sweet smelling. Oh, that's good, because uh, I love flowers. I can't believe anyone lives like this. Dracula lives like this? I mean someone real. Are you suggesting Dracula isn't real? Careful. Looks like a cheap burglar alarm. Though I can't imagine what anyone would want to steal down here. How about the statue of a Cupid? Hey, you got a point there. Sorry, I was mean to you before. Hey, you just didn't know how terrific I was. <laughs> now I do. I love you. Honey, <laughs> I love honey. Gives you energy. You want some? <laughs> Where are you going? Little boy's room. I'll be right back. Be sure to lock the doors now. You wouldn't want the boogeyman to get you. <laughs> what are you trying to do, scare me? It's got to be here someplace. I wonder if she knows about these. They make a cute couple, don't they? Miss Eddie's got a serious problem. Not as serious as hers. I brought you some company. <laughs> so long, <honey.
I didn't want to go to law school, but my father made me after his third divorce. He said he wasn't going to keep paying that kind of money to someone outside the family. He's a jerk. Jack, Jack, come here. I wish I knew what it was like to sleep with a woman like that instead of just talking about it. We got more to find than just a statue. We've got one sick guy. More than that, he's dangerous. This? Who is this? Eddie, Eddie Monroe. And the girl's name is Lori Warren. Does she know? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go and look for him while you two look for her. Have either of you seen Laurie Warren? Uh, excuse me, have either of you seen Eddie Monroe tonight? No, not since Harold kicked him out. Uh, any idea where he went? Oh, well, maybe down to the motel bar if you couldn't get a drink here. Give me a break, man. Shouldn't you be manning the bar? I'm paying you by the hour. I'll deduct the time. What? But... Hey, hey. Yeah, I remember seeing him earlier. Huh. You're the second guy looking for him tonight. Real popular guy all around. Oh, what do you mean? Well, he left with this woman, kind of attractive. Don't know how he did it, though. He was a real dork. Must have some line. Or a very small arrow. Uh, did you happen to see which way they were headed? Looked like to bed. She was all over him. I did overhear him say something about taking a ride to Mason Creek. Good man. Seen Jack. Yeah, he took off. You can tell him I'm gonna dock his way. No. Look, why don't you ditch that guy and let me show you how I'd have a good time? They always end up running away. It's me! Pops, I thought you were ready. I was gonna stomp his face for hot bringing my statue. You better call the police. I have another bottle of Chardonnay. Put this back in the frat house. Uh, I'm not going back to that zoo. I'll wait here for you. Keep my seat warm. Sorry. Mind if I sit down? Yes, I do. I'm with someone. Oh. I see. That's too bad. Just go away, Eddie. Please. I brought you something. It's a token of my affection for you. Oh, this is progress. Can't find Lori or Eddie, and now we lost Jack. Where would somebody go to be alone with their boyfriend? That's Eddie. He's got Lori. Okay, here. Look after
please, you've got to come with us. So he's taking a few pictures of me, so what? He's obsessed with you. He's dangerous. Eddie, he wouldn't harm a fly. I've got it. Let's get out of here. Where's Eddie? Listen, I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me what's going on. I'll tell you all about it after we get out of here. We can't wait. Come on, Lori, let's go. It's serious, Let Lori. me go. Thank goodness you found that. We found everything. Jack, you look like you've seen a ghost. It was worse than that. Just up at Mason's Creek, we found the body of a girl. For a bit, I thought it was you. What were you doing at Mason's Creek? That's where Eddie was seen last. You see? You've got to come with us just until we're sure. All right. Everything all right? Yes, yes, yes. Everything's yes, fine, officer. What's that? Uh, nothing. is just a memento. Well, the boys over at the Delta Lambda Guy House said something just like that had been stolen. Yeah, oh, come on now. It must have been something looked like that. No, they described something like this exactly. Ugly little face, bow and arrows. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take this from you until I can... Oh, no, my officer. That. Someone took it from us. It was ours to begin with. Uh, look, officer, it's a, a very long and complicated story. I'm sure it is, and I wish I had time to hear it. No, 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 wait a minute. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to take it down to security until I can check it out. If you're telling the truth, you can pick it up in the morning. If not, just be glad I'm a nice guy and letting you get off without any questions. We'll pick it up first thing tomorrow morning. Officer. Well, well, well. Do we any more bird watching lately? Of course. I need the extra credit. Looks like you found our missing Cupid. This does belong to you, boys. It sure does. We bought it at the swap meet. I can't tell you how much we appreciate you finding this. Forget it. It's all part of my job. Stay out of trouble, okay? It's a promise. Is this where you live? It's not much, but it's home. You'll stay upstairs with me. Doesn't this place give you the creeps? You get used to it. Long story. Sometime you're gonna have to explain to me what's going on. I will. I promise. But trust me, you won't believe it. Well, I think I'll turn in. It's been a long day. Yeah, it has been. See you in the morning. Good night. I really think we should call the cops on Eddie. Oh, not until we recover the statue. Supposing he confesses and implicates him. Now, that's just what happened with the Cupid's last owner. And then they'd have to hold it for evidence. Jack's right. Then we'll be back at school one. How is she? Seems all right. Hi. I couldn't get to a phone until now. I was worried. I didn't know what happened to you. I had to go with them or else they would have gotten suspicious. Hmm. Why don't you come over? No, but it's almost morning already. So? <laughs> we can still spend the rest of the night together. All right. Did you get back to Cupid? Yeah. I'm so glad. See you soon. I love you.
waited so long for this. Tonight, it'll be just the three of us. You? Sorry, we overheard your little phone call with Lori. Where is she? Safe. You can't get at her. I'll give you the cupid. You tricked me. Vicky, let me in. No, oh, no! I can! This was for me and Lori. Why? So you could kill her. I don't want to. I have to. Might as well be you. Just like that other girl tonight. She made fun of me. No more. She finally said she loved me. They all will. Even you. Vicky! Vicky! You all right? I'm fine! No! Don't hurt him! Vicky, get away from him! I love him! You hear that? Now, why don't you be a good fellow and just run along and let the little lady and I have some fun? You leave her alone! What are you gonna do about it? Eddie, Eddie, put down the axe. You want it? Come and get it! Long story. Welcome to the world of love. It's amazing what some people will do for it. That's it, Jack. Another one for the trophy room. Never forget that we're dealing with forces which no one comprehends, my young friend. Don't take them lightly. Well, I hope that that disgusting little statue never sees the light of day again. <laughs> yes, don't even think about it. Now it's back in the vault. I have to make very good and sure that it's never unleashed again. All these bedeviled things, if they fall into the wrong hands, We'll have to do it all over. And remember that next time, we may fail. I really owe you an apology. You don't owe us anything. You didn't know what you were doing. Like most people in love. Yeah, I got this really terrific idea. Why don't you and I go grab some sushi, catch a flag, and maybe uh, take a watch some waves come in on the beach. Oh, no, Ryan, I'd love to, but I'm having somebody pick me up. Ready? Yeah. Maybe some other time. Yeah. Bye. Maybe if I just touched her with the arrow. Ryan. Hey, I'm just looking for a little edge, all right? What's life without a dream? You want to go out to dinner? Dream on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.